Damage Control. Welcome to Damage Control MMA. I'm here with Yamasaki, and uh, we are doing a voiceover for the Jeff Monson clip that we shot in Salt Lake. Um, Jeff Monson came out, and he uh, actually rolled with our top 10 guys at our gym. It did one round with everyone, a five minute round with everyone. So basically rolled for a solid hour and then was willing to shoot this clip afterwards. And unfortunately the audio did not come out. So we are left with um, a, a couple of options here. And Yamasaki can tell you a little bit about what we went through. Right, we uh, want, first of all, we wanna thank all of our friends and uh, subscribers. Um, people that left comments on our YouTube channel, uh, Facebook, and then visited DamageControlMMA.com and, and uh, commented in the uh, blog post on the subject. Uh, all told, after we tallied everything up, the votes came out uh, basically 30 for uh, subtitles and 20 for voiceovers. And then, uh, you know, I, I put in a call to Mr. Jeff Monson to see if he had a preference on how we did it, and he was so cool, you know, he just said, I really want people to get a lot out of this clip. So, you know, just do a voiceover and, and tell them the details that I told you and, and uh, let's make this really effective for everyone, which is just awesome that he cared so much that this, this came out good. Unfortunately, I don't, you know, certainly don't know all the details at the level that he's going to show them, but, you know, we'll do our best and, and hope you guys get a lot out of it. There's some, um, a few parts in this uh, video that uh, you can kind of make out what, uh, uh, Mr. Monson saying, so uh, we just suggest that you crank your speakers, and we'll try to be quiet uh, when he's explaining those parts, and then uh, we'll add our commentary on the on the on the parts where we felt like uh, even with your speakers jacked, um, the the audio is in inaudible. So, without further ado, the Jeff Monson choke. So uh, if you didn't catch that, what, what Mr. Monson's saying here is he, he's talking about the, the way I would survive in this choke would be for me to turn my head to my left facing him. And he's talking about different ways of getting my face pointing up towards the ceiling so that he can continue applying the choke and make it work. So to reiterate a couple of the points that Mr. Monson's making, right now he's showing you the ways not to apply the choke with like a cup and saucer type grip or a fist in hand type grip. This is the way he prefers the choke be done right here, bone to bone. Bone to bone with both thumbs facing the ceiling. And if you didn't catch that last thing he said, he said if the choke is uncomfortable for him on his wrist, then he knows he has it right because he's grinding bone on top of bone while applying that. 
And again, he also keeps reiterating in, in every one of these details that I, your opponent, being me in this situation, has got to have their face pointing up towards the ceiling so that it's not a neck crank and it's an actual choke. Another, another detail he points out is keeping your weight, uh, settling your weight over the opponent's Adam's apple versus the chest. Here he's ratcheting me up the same way he showed to get the face pointing the right direction and then setting up the choke again. Lifting the head so that he can get the second wrist underneath. So right here, Mr. Monson's showing that, you know, you may get the arm in or you may not get the arm in of your opponent while you're doing the choke, and he's saying makes no difference. You just use the same details. Hands bone to bone, pressure over the throat versus the chest. When you were feeling that, Kaiser, was that was there any discomfort in the back of your neck, or was it purely a choke? It, it actually was purely a choke. Yeah, that's a great question, and and I was fighting to uh, not tap the entire explanation just just because the details were so perfect that um, I got lightheaded the second he he put his wrist wrist back there before he applied with any kind of strength or anything. Hmm. The question I just asked uh, Mr. Monson is that you know are are there any follow ups or you know what Obviously, the, 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 that uh, the Monson choke doesn't exist in a in a vacuum. What 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 other moves kind of create that game? His game, and he was showing the side guillotine, the kimura, um, you know, those things, and just regular side cross. Those uh, three types of things were where he kind of plays his game. Here, here's his regular side, regular side cross with an underhook, which was the original setup, and then he also showed it off of a kimura. And then um, with a uh, side guillotine um, follow up. Right here, Mr. Monson's pointing out that when he applies that guillotine from that position, he likes to have what he calls the inside leg or the leg closest to him, which would be my right leg um, as he's putting that choke on. I love that detail. Uh, right, right here we're asking Mr. Monson uh, about his contact information, and we're just going to put that at the bottom of the screen here for you. He was one of the most accessible fighters that I've ever met. I mean, he uh, he, he was just so giving. Um, he actually contacted us to come train at the gym, We, yeah. which blew my mind. Um, not like because we we're, you know, some amazing – Group guy or what guys or whatever just he was looking for a place to train his seminar contact uh, You know 
gave him a, a cup a couple of options and and he, he took up uh that that contact on those on those options and we got the phone call and we're like all right let's we're dropping what we're doing we're gonna go down the gym and roll with jeff monson so i mean when you get these uh contact details make sure you you know you take advantage of him because he's active on twitter uh fa what do you say facebook uh twitter and we have his email we can put out there in his website um and we'll put that at the bottom of the screen. And yeah, to, to reiterate what Yamasaki said, I mean, what, what an awesome guy. It was such a breath of fresh air to be around somebody who's competed and been successful at this level and is not a prima donna. I mean, he was just so generous and giving with the techniques and the moves. And yeah, just, just wanted to train. And yeah, he just came yeah. in and he didn't want to say, hey, I'm Jeff Monson. You know, he, he, wanted to, he just wanted to work out for an hour. And, and not only that, he, he, he really just kind of moved around and rolled just like, you know, you'd roll with anybody, any one of your buddies that you've been rolling with for years. I mean, he didn't come in to prove a point. He wasn't. Except for that the Monson choke works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did. He did. And he proved that point over and over again. That is true. That is true. But he was an absolute pleasure to roll with. I mean, he, you know, just just an all around awesome guy. And and um, I hope this uh, hope this worked out for everybody and, and you can get these details. You might have to watch it a few times and um, enjoy.